the late, great Rodney Ellis Sr. was a true teacher's teacher. He never wavered from his belief that access to quality education was a right, not a privilege, and any impediments to deny said access was a crime. In the classrooms, the union halls, and on the streets, Rodney Ellis was there, marching for equality, even risking arrest to be a voice for disenfranchised students. Not unlike the man this next award is named for, labor movement freedom fighter, Cesar Chavez. Let's witness the work of Rodney Ellis. Ronnie Ellis was a middle school language arts teacher and president of the North Carolina Association of Educators. He was elected as president in uh, 2012. He was always very intentional about making the association look like its members. And he always told me that one of the things that I, I really want to work on is having more Latino representation. It was about the students. Every single time I talked to him about things that we had to do. He would just say, how is this going to help our students? Rodney was against discrimination and bigotry in any form. One of the outrages that uh, Rodney witnessed during his tenure as president was their dreamers who were being uh, snatched on their way to school at the bus stops with the goal to deport them. He uh, coordinated with that local and he was just completely appalled by the way it was done. And he was always on the forefront to make sure that all our students were treated equally. He stood up quickly and strongly to protect the community. His love for the community and for all students really made him stand out. He is always with us here. And uh, you don't walk in this building without um, feeling his presence. And he would always tell us, our organization must continue to exist and to fight for all of our children. Every time I think of Rodney, that's what comes to mind. How he was looking at the association for the future and how it will work. He definitely made his mark and has made North Carolina public education and certainly NCAE a better place. The aftermath of all this is a wave of new leaders that are willing to do and give whatever it needs for every student in this state and the nation. Uh, and that's because of him. Accepting this award is Rodney's wife, Lisa Ellis, escorted by Mark Jewell and Dale Lee, the presidents of the education associations in North Carolina and West Virginia. Thank you and good evening. On behalf of the Ellis family, I bring greetings to President Lily Eccleson Garcia, distinguished guests, all honorees, NEA family and friends. A special thank you to Dale Lee for nominating Rodney for this award. It is an honor to receive this award on his behalf. Cesar Chavez was known for his work done to better working conditions for thousands of laborers. Rodney fought in the classroom, to the office, to the streets, to better the working conditions for all of our educators and better resources for our students. We witnessed firsthand the blood sweat, tears he put into what he believed in. It is our hope that all who have come in contact with Rodney in any way will honor his 
a spirit of excellence and heart of justice. Thank you.